What's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. Today, we're continuing on with the Valheim world record speedrun grind. A few weeks ago, we got world record. Almost a month ago now. And that time is my current PB still. It's four hours and three minutes. Officially, it's still record. But there is a run pending verification from thread minutes right now. That is three hours and 54 minutes. Um, we know that there is at least 20 minutes of time save left in my PB. And we've been on pace to get a sub four hour time many times over. Um, so it's not necessarily going to be easy to retake world record. But we definitely, definitely... It's very achievable. We've been consistently on the pace. Get a time faster than that. Many times over, we just kind of need the stars to align. I need to stay focused and stay committed. So uh, let's do it. Start out by turning off tutorials. What's up, Joe? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. Right. Check for burial chambers with print seeds at the start of the flight path. Also, slow checking for mountains. What's up, Emilio? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, dude. I know burial chambers and no mountains as far as I can tell yet. Oh, there is a mountain there. Might be worth considering. So where is that? Just in line with the Ikthia Vegvasir, basically. What's up, Project? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. All right, pause the music and let's go. First run of the day. All right, first things first, let's mark this direction so it's west for that mountain if we wanted to check it. Heat is a little far away. Hopefully, it won't be too much of an issue. Thanks for the look, Pacheco. I appreciate that. Jala, thanks a lot. The look, I appreciate that. Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. Evening, Garda. Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good, buddy. What's up, Mitch? Thanks for talking about the stream. And thanks a lot. Appreciate that. You know the crouch roll can make does it still dodge attacks e yet thanks a lot for the follow on twitch party i hope you're doing good dude all right it's multiple deer dotted about Trophy, please. Trophy, please. Trophy, please. No. What's up, Sean? Thanks for by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. What's up, Jesus? Thanks for by the stream. Hope you're doing good and thanks for the luck. I appreciate that, dude. Thanks 
Okay, we've got another deer. Let's go. Oh. Trophy, please. I was going to get away there. All right, not quite. What's up, the Shannon? I'm stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Uh, I guess we can kind of head towards the boss, but more concerned about heading towards deer sounds. There's a burial chamber over there somewhere. Oh, hang on. There's lots of flint there. Let's grab that real quick. Well, sub the keeper. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good. And thanks for the look. I appreciate that. Pinner, thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that, buddy. That's the kind of dear AI I like. Thank you. Trophy, please. <laughs> nope. I need to regen some stamina. Grab this bit of flint real quick. Trophy, please. All right, we got one trophy, it looks like. Okay, good. Here, more deer over there. We want to be more focused on the sounds of deer than pretty much any anything else at this point in the run. Today is a good day to update the world record. Let's do it. Hell yeah, dude. Appreciate that. I agree. All right, we've got several deer here. Let's go for one of the regular ones instead of the one star. It'll be faster to kill. Trophy, please. Hell yeah, let's go. All right. On pace so far. Let's do it. Stack up that wood along the way. Trying to watch some Twitch, but try is disconnected. Well, it's just for you then, mate, probably. And stuff about the stream. I hope you're doing good though, dude. Let's actually do this real quick as well. chest amber torch yeah nothing good all right gg hell yeah what's up g thanks thanks a lot i appreciate that dude um 
What's up, Paul? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Alright, good spawn. Hope it's not rigged. Hell yeah, that's an awesome pace. Let's go, chat. What I like to see. GG. Four minute twenty three ahead of PB. Mate, that looks so easy. I appreciate that, Stu. Yeah, that was pretty much the perfect peak there fight. Which is nice because it gives us a good pace to start the run with. Then we are actually going to come back this way, basically. Remember, we had, we had crows over there, and there's also a mountain to the west. I don't think I'm going to go for the mountain, though. Uh, maybe if we can get a glance of it from here, but I think it's not that big looking. Nah. I'm going to see if we can do better than that. Be a lot better if we manage to just wait until it's actually the mountain with modder on it, which is obviously we can't never guarantee, but more likely if it's bigger. What's up, Corel? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. It's the last stream of the week this week, guys, because my dad's visiting me tomorrow. So there'll be no stream tomorrow. I'll be back to streaming either Monday or Tuesday. Have you ever had Moda or Yag a second boss? Yep. I've had Modo as the second boss quite a few times. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably not. Alright. 92, so we're heading the right direction. Ish. 78. We probably just need to see crows at this point. It would help. 60. Sounds dead ahead. 49. How can I not even see these crows? Yeah, here we go. Crows. So crows spawn on structures. Oh, wait. That's not them, though. It's a different structure. Past it. Right, there's a skeleton. There. Did I just see a skeleton, or was it just a... I know there is a great wolf there. 69 60 64 There's a burial chamber close by somewhere 
You got a long weekend this weekend as well. True. What's up, Roy? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. That says 80 now. 57. 51. Yeah, okay. It's actually in the <laughs> Meadows bio. Which complicates things. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do. Whatever, dude. One bone. I see a spawn room already. Oh, God. That looks nice and close. Um, I think I'm just gonna YOLO. See if we can get bones in caves. Never seen a battle chamber in meadows. Yeah, it's not very common, but it can happen. That's gonna take us towards that mountain, so maybe it's actually worth us in by the mountain at least and see if we spot a good structure. So let's do that. And we still need a few flint as well. Something I've been really happy about in my runs lately is how I'm not over committing to any kind of map farming. I'm just doing like little bits and pieces along the on the route. It's definitely saving time. But it's something that I feel like it just takes a while to get your head around. Because there's a lot to think about. It's sort of easier to approach it like a to-do list where you collect all this, then collect all that. Because then, you know, you kind of know where you're at and you won't forget things, but... Oh. Now I've just gotten more used to just like... Not collecting fixed amount of things at certain times, not forcing it, just... Doing everything on route and I'm happy with it. It feels good, man. Might be able to get a bone under this dolmen, right? That's what it's called, chat. Nope. I think it's a dolmen. I asked this question last time. Um. Make our pickaxes because pickaxes. Are actually lighter we don't need that hello um pickaxes are lighter than antlers for whatever reason doesn't make sense but it's true <laughs> and i like that that's the way it is actually it's kind of cool that things are lighter once you've crafted them Maybe it sort of makes sense in the sense that maybe a Viking's carving it down or something. What's up, Koki? Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate that, dude. Thanks for the look. All right. Um. Was it actually you, Cloaky, that removed the spam message that someone asked about in the Discord? By the way. Did you actually go... Did you see that message and go and delete it? On the comments. Dude. You're working overtime as a moderator. I really appreciate the extra effort you put in. Uh, 
crazy, dude. Don't, don't don't overdo it. Make sure you give yourself time to relax. Make sure you still enjoy just hanging out. <laughs> but I really appreciate it. Thanks, thanks, dude. Top top moderator right there, chat. Um, so yeah, we're heading towards the elder, but I'm going to scan see if I see anything special about this Mountain along the way Which nah doesn't seem like it's worth bothering with it's very small, but if we just I knew it was small of course But if we actually it, there's a small chance that we spotted a tower still on it because it's still possible there could have been a tower or a, a cave in which case it could have been worth seeing we could get a fast modder rune out of it even though it's still best to just check a big mountain and, and that just be the one that modder is on having a modder location still can save a lot of runs Appreciate it, yeah. Yeah, it's actually really important to remove spam messages because uh, it can downgrade your ad revenue. Not always. <clears throat> so I appreciate that, dude. Basically, sometimes YouTube. If there's a lot of spam messages in someone's chat, this is actually mega inside baseball, but I think it's interesting. Um, sometimes if there's like a lot of spam messages in people's comments, YouTube kind of flags it as suspicious activity on the actual YouTube account. They think they might be inflating numbers using bots. We actually don't have the mats. We're so low of leather, we don't have mats for a boat. Um, I almost feel like it might be more worth just returning to the meadows. Because we only need two leather. I bet we can find two ball faster than we can find a troll cave. Certainly less of a dice roll. What's up, Antech B? Thanks for talking about the stream. I hope you're doing good, bud. What's up, Mark? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good. worth doing princes just to see if we could potentially find a farm or something there do a play valheim because you like it or because of the speed run both i'll play it because i like the game and i like the speed run 
I don't really understand the question. <laughs> Most speedrunners only speedrun games they like. All right, cool. Here we go. It worked out in the end. Just had to be a little bit patient. Got a ball stone now. Do you play the game sometimes without speedrunning and join the full game? Uh, I have done many times, yeah. And uh, usually about once a month I will do some more casual gameplay, but there's just simply not enough time for me to make videos grind for speedrun world records and uh, and also play the game casually all the time but yeah I do sometimes Let's look, Demigod. Thanks for the stream. I hope you're doing good. And thanks for the look. I appreciate it. I mean, you know, if, if you want to get world record in a game, you have to, like, there's no way about it. You have to just put a lot of effort in. You know what I mean? Like, you... So... And I enjoy doing the speed runs, so. What's up, Chris? Hell yeah, dude. I like it, as usual. All right, let's go. What's up, engineers? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. And thanks for the look. I appreciate that. How many other people have been doing this category? I mean, it's impossible to know because most people won't submit if it's not a good time and it's not easy to get a good time, so. Valheim has about 100 runners, give or take. Usually there's somewhere between 30 to 40 actives, I would say. Maybe a bit less. You can find the stats on speedrun.com for the whole game. But there's only three people that have been on the leaderboard in this category post Hearth and Home. But there's for sure a healthy amount of people trying to do it that just aren't submitting. What's up, Terrier? And stuff about the stream. Hope you're doing good. And thanks for the look. I appreciate it. The thing is with the speed running is that you kind of never know the real number of people doing runs because it is just playing the game at the end of the day. If people don't choose to upload videos or post on the leaderboards, 
You kind of just never know, right? Kind of what's one of the things that's kind of interesting about it. You can find the active numbers on speedrun.com for people that are submitting, but um, if people don't, they they literally like the most likely is more than one person that watches all of the streams trying to learn everything they can that comes home from work and tries to beat the, t the top times and they just don't post it and they're, they're, they're just keeping it to themselves until they get a time they're happy to post the most likely is more than one person that does that that is capable of getting world record but outside of like top runners, I would say there's probably a lot of people trying. Because outside of official numbers, no one really knows anything. So it's, all, all I know is just like I, get, I do get questions sometimes. You know, like people send me messages asking about a specific part of the run. Or they ask in the chat or they talk about it in the chat. Or, you know, sometimes other content creators might bring it up or... If there's another content creator in the chat, they'll tell me that they, you know, such a person has said they got such a time or, you know, there's like a lot of stuff that's just that you, you don't really know. Someone could come out of nowhere and get world record for sure. This is actually a really annoying situation because this, this could waste tons of time, this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually just going to paddle away because... We don't have wind to go against the shore, and there's a big drop there. Oh my god. So we could actually lose the leather, which would be really, really annoying. Yeah, in fact, we just did, but we should be able to get it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice game. We didn't get it back. Even though our toes were touching it. Joy! Yay, 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 yay! Valheim fucking leather collisions. There we go. But that situation would have been a lot worse against that rock. Because it would have been deeper underwater. So, crisis averted there for the most part. Hoggy! New pledge. To keep it, thank you so much for becoming a patron and supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thanks so much for helping out. That really helps. Thank you. 9.9 score on that dive. <laughs> thanks so much to keep it. You're legend, dude. Hope you're having a great day and thanks for supporting the content and helping keep my dream alive on Patreon. I appreciate that, dude. Except for the three people that are on the leaderboard right now, including me. I know of three other people that ever actively ran this category. But there's definitely, like, uh, you know, way more than that that have ever tried it. Sometimes you will just get, I, I will just get someone like in the chat or in the DMs talking to me like we really know each other. <laughs> that I don't know who they are. And they'll claim to be somebody that ran the game in the early days. And they probably 
they probably did. You know what I mean? So we we never know how many's out there. It's interesting. What's up, Dana? Thank, Dana, thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Hope you're doing good, bud. Alright, we, we need a place to put a bed. This looks pretty good. We also need some ancient seeds. Yeah, go away, please, Great Dwarf. Thanks for the great content. Really like your vids, especially the crazy ones. Only so, oh, thanks to keep it. Definitely more stuff like that coming in the future, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Um, it kind of feels like it might be worth quickly doing this. Wait, no. And why? Why did I do that? <laughs> okay. I can hear a seed. There it is. Here, another seed. Yep, there it is. God damn it. We got poisoned. Gonna relog to save HP there. Not totally necessary, because we could have survived that, but whatever. More HP is good. What's up, damn that stuff and bye. I hope you're doing good, dude. Feel like I do hear another seed. Ah, great, thanks, man. Yeah, I definitely hear another seed. I think it's this way. Odd. It's so faint, so it can't be that close. There it is. What's up, fine? Thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. Nice. Time for little Elder Smelter. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too bad. On pace so far for... Something decent. Um, yeah, it's probably...
yeah, it's not going to be worth trying to get more rocks involved. What's up, man? Oh, so bright. No, that's not soon, dude. It's perfect timing for me. Runners lose runs the same day. We had it for almost a month. So I was super happy with it. And it's a good time for me to have something to grind for again. Almost a one cycle. Yeah, we might die here, but he should we should get the elder. Hell yeah, chat, that's a super good time for the elder. You actually can keep him more still if you don't go into cover. So if Gotta you don't keep feeding this beast of a community. Congrats on the steady growth, smiley face. Sub oh four, let's go. Oh my god. Dana! What the hell, dude? They're number one. <laughs> the supporter of this community. Holy shit. Thank you so much for the $200 donation. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, buddy. You're an absolute legend. An absolute legend. Thank you so much, Dana. I hope you're doing good, buddy. Thanks so much for your continued support. Gotta keep feeding the beast of a community. Congrats on the steady growth. So far, let's go. Hell yeah, dude. I love the attitude, as always. I really appreciate that, Dana. I hope you're having a nice day, buddy. Flipping legend right there, chat. So generous. Thank you. Donations like this make such a big difference to, to me at the level I'm at. That's so crazy. Thanks so much, Dana. Can't thank you enough, buddy.
Why didn't you build a campfire? It's only one place. Um, so the fire damage you take from campfires actually stacks the longer you're on a campfire and it stacks the more campfires you put down. So it actually does more damage by placing multiple campfires. Also, <laughs> spreading them out a little bit for the elder fight. Uh, it's a bit of a strategy because the elder is an absolute nightmare for collisions like sometimes his feet just don't collide with the fire even though they're touching it it's kind of a glitchy collision so i spread them out a little bit just so we have a lot of options for collisions because sometimes it, you think it looks like perfectly i'll put them all in this one spot and then none of them work <laughs> so but thanks again danny You're absolute legend dude Yeah, the other thing that I was say as well about the uh, having a new time to beat is like it's has, it's completely expected, right? We were because of all of the strats that we figured out in the run of the last you know year, basically. The run is now at a point where both me and Thread are really consistently on pace for sub fours. So like. I, if I I always assume that if I'm really close to doing it, Red will be too. You know what I mean? So it was it was not unforeseen. It was exactly what I expected to happen. So I, I'm totally cool with it. I'm usually cool with it. The only time I'm not. Oh shit, what? I didn't get the dodge. The only time I'm not totally cool with people getting record is just if I just made a video about it or something and it just came out and it's like, really? I have to do a different video or this video is now pointless? But that's not the runner's fault. And that also almost never happens. Um... Okay, so we have a lot of what we need, but we still need full leather. Looking forward to the server stream. Yeah, me too, dude. It's going to be awesome to just do like a long server stream for a change and just... Because like the, one of the main reasons I don't generally do long server streams is that, you know, people always come and go on server streams. I feel like it's harder to get everybody organized to be in the same spot when it's a longer period of time. And sometimes we just end up kind of not doing much so i feel like if it's longer i need to be doing like, i need to pick some of that i'm kind of doing and then people drop in and out kind of but so i'm really like i'm excited to just spend a, a day just building on the server and then just doing random little activities with you guys i think it should be really fun and then you guys can help me gather mats and stuff for the build it's joining randomly like i think it will be really fun because I don't do that sort of thing very often and quite a lot of people have asked me about doing a build-in stream, so. It's gonna be sweet. But yeah, one of the other things I want to say as well about records and stuff for runners is like... I know Thread basically feels the same way. Like, I think people want runners sometimes to have some kind of adversarial relationship against each other. Like, oh, he's got to be mad about this one. It's like, no, no, he isn't. And literally, I think it was in the last... I can't remember if it was in the last time that we got record or the time before that. 
plot. Like, oftentimes, Thread is just lurking in the chat. And he was lurking when I got record, either last time or the time before that. I forget which one. And someone was like, oh, Thread's going to be mad. And then and I saw that Thread replied in the comments, like, in the chat, he said, like, no, he isn't. <laughs> like, Thread's, like, hyped. Oh, uh, should we go and get the wood out of that chest? That's what we should do, right? Yeah, it's just good glitch luck. Sometimes I'm like, oh my god, we don't have the mats, but... Glitched out a bit. Oh, fuck. Messed up. All right. Nice. We're stacked. Right, there's an island over there. I'm going to go to it, I think, instead of going around this one. Oh, I didn't fully upgrade my axe again, but we got it to level two, so whatever. Forgot. Doesn't matter though, really. It's not really going to be much time to save, if any. That's because I already partially upgraded it. But yeah, like, I, I grind speedruns because it's fun. Like, I never got into speedrunning to get world records. I just wound up managing to do a lot of things before anybody else. So they just were world records because no one was doing it. And then it's like, people have just beaten my time and then I beat that time and then it's just backwards and forwards. It's just because I've been involved with speedrunning Valheim from the beginning that I have got wrapped up in doing world records and I just like that's not why I speedrun. I speedrun because it's fun, you know what I mean? Just ha just so happens that I do runs that are the right time to be at the top if you know what I mean it's not like but that's just because I've been doing it more than anybody else but I only do it because it's fun I don't even consider any form of speedrunning to be the the pinnacle competitive environment of anything like I would like you know it's just it's just gaming it's a fun it, the competition element to things in speedrunning or or uh, a fun added element if you're into you know being a bit competitive sometimes which i do enjoy the competition i think it adds fun but i'm not doing it like oh yeah i'm the absolute best because you know i'm an ultimate gamer because i have world records like i used to compete in pubg sports bef before this and i consider that to be require far more skill like i do speed running because I think it's really fun. To me, all of this is actually really easy compared to what I used to be trying to do. Like, really easy. 
I've never attempted a speedrun and thought it was harder than winning a tournament in like PUBG esports, for example. And I'm sure it would be the same for a lot of other esports. Speedrunning to me is just the competition is really fun and cool thing and it's very impressive how good runners get at certain games and it's fun to watch. But, um, you know, world records aren't the be all and end all for me. It just happens to be where I'm at, that's all. I think it's just, it's only like that because I've been doing it from the beginning. It still kind of is the beginning too in a lot of ways. Hopefully we find a swamp or something. Like one of the things that was interesting to me about pivoting from doing uh, PUBG to doing speedruns was the idea of uh, it was interesting it, 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 getting good at a game made me realize I could probably get good at any game and it kind of made me realize like I just thought I don't know it, it, so it gave me an interesting skill set when I chose to do something else so I was like doing challenging things in games could be a fun way to go outside of doing anything kind of esports like if you know what I mean uh, and it just I feel like I just have a massive advantage having gone through all of that because I because it's all slightly easier I have a lot more fun if you know what I mean so to me like every gameplay challenge I've ever done every speedrun I've ever done since stopping doing PUBG and stuff all of it is easier than what I was attempting to do with PUBG all of it and that makes it easier for me to relax and just enjoy myself and have fun, if that makes sense. So to me, all of this is just fun. Like, I just, I'm having a good time. Like, yeah, I do get into competitive, the competitive nature of it all. But that's all just part of the fun. But at the same time, I don't consider the competitive side of things, side of things to be the be all and end all to me, which is why it's not like... Soul destroying if someone beats a time or whatever. When you cracked the record and the ex the excitement tapered off, did you feel a bit deflated with only yourself to beat at that point? No, not at all. I just this is what I mean is that because it's not about. Um. What do we do here? I guess we go to this island and hope there's a bump there. Because it's not like about me and, and, and the status I have or anything. To me, it's just... It, it's just about the run, right? So, like... It was really exciting to get such a good time because it was just a good time. It's a big measurement of self-improvement, which is really satisfying and it's like the the the, the, the moment where all of the, the the time and effort pays off that's what the moment is when you get world record that's why it's satisfying it, it's like represents personal growth and effort but then like when the world record was done i was still excited to get a faster time because 
I knew I was capable of doing it even faster. And that's why it wasn't a shock for Thread to beat the time again. Like, I'm just excited to keep improving the run because the, the, the more improved the run gets, the more fun it is for me to do the run. The more strats we have, the more optimizations, the more fun it gets for me. And like, I, I kind of feel like, you know, my mission it, it, it is never over until the game's really well optimized in terms of the speed run. So, the, along the journey of getting record, it got to the point where we were so consistently on record pace that I just knew that a faster time was definitely possible. So getting record was hype, but as soon as the like I, I was and I was I was really happy and hyped about the run and everything, which is that's why that's how I behave because none of it is an act. <laughs> um, I also knew when I finished the run that there's a good 20 minutes of time saving that like I died so much and stuff. Um, there was still some some bad RNG and stuff that. You know, if we didn't get it, it would be faster. That it just made me be like, yeah, still possible to do it even faster, which is why I didn't stop grinding. Um, my 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 immediate thought after beating a run was like, yeah, awesome. Now, I, like I had planned, I've been planning for months that if I may, if I got world record, I would make a video explaining the world record run. Um. So I was actually immediately my first, I, I even said it on the run. I was like, hell yeah, now I can make a new video. Like I was actually just excited about being able to make the video I've been wanting to make. So. Uh, there's some planes here, but we actually don't have any arrows yet. complicated their reasons for that Andre. I mean I am sort of over PUBG now for many reasons but what a lot of people don't know about the game if unless they've played it a lot is like PUBG actually requires such a high level of mechanical skill to play at a high level there's so much that goes on to just even just shooting someone at the, in that game at less than 100 meters. The recoil control and all the rest of it. Then all the strategy that goes into a, you know deciding where to go in a, in a competitive match. There's so much that goes into it. There's, the, there's a certain level of, of, of PUBG when it comes on kind of competitive level that is like even just where to go on the map where to rotate to that side of it alone is like way more co like it's like chess but there's hundreds of options if not more of where to go and then that doesn't even include the mechanical skill required to actually win fights it's actually really deep kind of sophisticated esports and it's been totally ruined <laughs> if someone wants to know what I'm talking about, the peak of PUBG Esports was PEL. If someone actually is interested, go back and find old PEL VODs and just watch like entire tournaments. There was like one PEL that was like a hundred matches long. They've just ruined it now. Like not none of what I'm saying really applies to PUBG Esports now, I don't think, but 
It does, but it's not as fair anymore. It's ruined it, but. There's a lot going in, going on. But yeah, the gun mechanics in that game. Nuts. What's up, Shahusto? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Right. That was the tiniest planes ever, by the way. There is a, a swamp here now. Do you plan on doing new character playthrough when Mistlands is released? Uh, I'm torn about it, to be honest, Dana. I I'm actually thinking probably not now. Because I think there might actually turn out to be more value and more fun for me to just dive right into the speed run because most likely it's going to take a while but I might I'm more likely to do I, I do I don't know I, like I'm, I'm torn about it to be honest for ages I just decided like no I'm just going to go straight into the speed run because I think it will actually be more fun and better and I think people care about it a lot more when it comes to watching my channel but also, like, occasionally I do still just think, oh, maybe I'll do a Let's Play series. I'm not sure. What I might do is, uh, I don't know. Something I'm considering is just, like, the streams will be the speedruns. I'm considering I might actually just do like edited let's plays, let's plays on YouTube as for a casual playthrough. That's something I've been considering lately. Still in the vibe of the show. Nice. <laughs> you think maybe you've grown out of PUBG, Nick? I mean, you reached your max skill set. No. I definitely didn't reap from my skill set. Um, I wasn't that good. Lots of people are much better than me. I knew several people much better. Um, it's a complicated subject. Ultimately, despite everything I said, PUBG is a kind of a depressive game, a depressing game to be involved with for a lot of reasons. I think being the Battle Royale content creator is actually kind of stressful in a lot of ways. The genre is just literally manufactures stress. Like even if it's pretend. And then, you know, like the, what the actual, like I loved PUBG and until I realized it was just ruining my life and I didn't really realize it was ruining my life until after I stopped playing it. Uh, but the actual thing that was the final straw for me was just like, you know, there's just bugs and, and, and cheaters that were just never dealt with, you know, basically. It was just a slow build up of like, Oh, maybe they'll eventually fix this or eventually fix that. And what one day I was just playing the game and it was when Valheim was out and I realized I was more annoyed more often than I was more fun with the way matches unfolded, whether it's by inherent poor design or bugs and glitches that hadn't been fixed or cheaters. And there was something that happened where I encountered a bug or something and I died and I was just like, I literally just thought I'd be so much happier if I was playing Valheim right now. And so I just stopped playing it. And I've never looked back. I have played it a little bit here and there since. And sometimes I still enjoy it. Okay. We're just baited by the spawn. Oh. Oh, get behind the tree in time. So yeah, I don't know. PUBG just... To me, still has potential to be one of the greatest video games ever. And, and maybe it actually is. 
but it's just unfortunate that like it, it had more potential than than it you know it, it could be better than it is a lot better and when you play it all the time that's a lot of what you think of and it just oh, like they just do things to make it worse all the time <laughs> instead of making it better i don't know I definitely don't think I outgrew it and I definitely didn't reach max skill. I wasn't good enough for that. It's just I got sick of it. It's the way to simplify it, I guess. Like, no one seems happy in the PUBG community to be playing the game. <laughs> I think it's, there's something about it. The stress just makes it stressful. It wears people down. And it's not a good vibes either. You know, like, you, it's not like a game that fills you with good vibes like Valheim. And the PUBG community is outright just shit. <laughs> like, it just is shit. There's people in the PUBG community that I still love, obviously. I'm still friends with people that are in it, but... And I still consider some of the streamers I used to play with friends, but... I got a little bit tired of things like PUBG Report. Like, PUBG Report, like, logs all of your kills. And, it, and, it, and what it does is it creates a clip... ...of that streamer. So if you killed a streamer or a streamer killed you, they can actually find a clip of it and they can also define your stream. And uh, this isn't like what really one of the reasons why I stopped playing or anything. I didn't care that much, but I'm just saying this is like how shit the community is, is that all that happens is as a streamer, you just go around wrecking people all day and they, and they just show up in your chat calling you a cheater and calling you names and just like getting mad at you and just it, it, it that kind of is off-putting compared to Valheim where the Valheim community is so positive so friendly so welcoming PUBG is like if you if you're better than somebody the reaction is fuck you you're an asshole and you're probably cheating <laughs> <laughs> Valheim actually just a really chill game exactly yeah like I, I've always liked games that are just chill I never I just it's just I never really saw a way to do good content with them until Valheim speedrunning basically Yeah, exactly, Mitch. Like, don't get me wrong. There's, there's, there's still things that's really good about PUBG. And if I'm in the right mood and I play the game, like, it's great. But there's just the game design inherently has problems that they keep making worse. And then the community does not help. And uh, just because a community is toxic doesn't mean everyone that plays the game is toxic. There's still great people in the PUBG community, but as a whole, no one cares. I'd love to see you speedrun Valheim in VR. That would actually be really interesting. I do keep looking into VR headsets, but they're a bit pricey. But if I get one, it would be fun to do, I agree. What's up, Karatea? Thanks for stopping down the stream. I hope you're doing good. How are the runs? Good, thanks, bro. I hope you're doing good as well. Can't do with toxic communities. Just don't see the point in being like that. Yeah, exactly. 
I will say the community of a game does... It's never the main thing I, I think about when it comes to like what I stream or what I make videos about. But but it, 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 it does cross my mind at the very least. And if the community is really bad, it does de-incentivize me to play it on stream or in videos. So much iron gets lost, Drew. Do you think Valheim could done could be done only walking backwards? Well, you can't really walk backwards and attack, can you? I guess you kind of can. Maybe, yeah. I mean, off the top of my head, I would say yeah, but I'd have to test it. <laughs> But yeah, I kind of feel like I've spoke about this before, like with, with some of my friends that still play the game. I think personally, my vibe when I watch most people play PUBG is that most most content creators moved on, quit, stopped being a content creator, whatever, or or they they the smart ones got out early and became really big content creators playing other games and use the skill set they got from that game to do something else. And I'm not talking about myself, because <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant people like fucking Shroud and people like that. Like big content creators, like Viz, people like that. They're like There's lots and lots of pe huge content creators that originated with PUBG. Dr. Disrespect, stuff like that, right? But then like, uh, lots of people that are still doing it. When I watch their stream, I feel like I'm dying a little bit inside because the person seems clinically depressed and they seem to hate every second of what they're doing. And the half the content is them complaining about the game. And it just, after I just, a little bit of time of just doing Valheim, it took a while because I realized I was actually just addicted as well. That's the other thing about it. I realized it was, it's so addictive that the only reason why I was still doing content on it is because I was actually straight up addicted. I didn't realize until I stopped how addicted to the game I was. Um, and so, yeah, I think there's a lot of people still on the grind that are basically just addicted, but are super depressed. And after be giving myself some time to play Valheim and have taken a few steps back, it made me realize all of this. I was like, oh yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> Why would anyone want to watch my stream if I was complaining most of the time or if I was mad at the game most of the time or if I'm in the lobby most of the time or if I was running around in an open field not encountering any enemies for like most of the time. <laughs> like when you really think about it like sometimes like some battle royales when you watch the streams there's so much downtime at least that's how PUBG became sometimes watching players rage is funny yeah true I'm not really like it that is definitely true and then we had a lot of funny rage moments like that you can definitely find some clips on my twitch channel um, of funny rage rage moments but you know um, I'm more talking about just not rage necessarily, just like general, just complainingness. I would certainly complain trying to find bow mass this way. Kudos for endurance. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not saying uh, I have zero complaints now when I do this, but I feel like I'm pretty zen playing Valheim. It's very relaxing 90% of the time. Life always throws curved balls. You might have a few complaints sometimes, but yeah, but I just feel so much better doing what I'm doing now. It's more fun. 
More relaxing. Is he the worst boss to find? Um, no. You go up is the worst. Especially the rafting is relaxing. True. This segment just seems like such a grind because you have to also find with the bones. Play multitask a lot. But yeah, sometimes what I, I what something I think about is is like it now the like. The feeling, the what made me, the things I like about PUBG, the game seems to be getting away from it. Something I think about all the time is like, there's a, there definitely is potential for a new game to come out that does Battle Royale in a certain way. Like I basically think that Battle Royale has so much more potential than how it's being done now. And in terms, not more potential, just it, more potential for me to really like it. Um, but I don't think anyone will make that game. Because I actually got into PUBG actually mostly because of solos. I've always, I've never really been a guy that does a lot of multiplayer. Oh. Or anything like that. I've always liked to play solo. And therefore I always used to play more single player games. But. When it, like. The certain multiplayer experiences. I always liked. But it, it kind of sucked. I was always outnumbered. Because I never had enough people to play with. Or really wanted to play with, enough, with more people. To build a whole team. Because I like to play video games on my own. To just relax. I can't relax if there's talking to loads of people and stuff. Um, so when Battle Royales were like taking off, like it was seeing that PUBG had a solo mode actually what is what appealed to me. And then the realism is the other part of what appealed to me. Those two things the whole genre really got away from. <laughs> but sometimes I look for, for for new games coming out and see if there's any going to be a game that does all that focus is on all that sort of thing, but it just never seems like it's going to be a thing. Maybe one day. Also, there's something with, about being a content creator as well. Something that I have learned from changing to Valheim that I've realized is such an advantage. Uh, is that when, when you play single player games as a content creator, you're in total control of, of what happens on your stream. Um, you know, aside from like randomness in the game, you're pretty, you're in, I mean, total control is not the right way. It's still randomness, but. You're in, you have a lot of control over what's going on on your stream. Like it, you know, be, because it's a single player game, but what really sucks about being a content creator that plays multiplayer games, especially if you're a streamer, I think it's a lot different. I think it works better on YouTube, to be honest, as YouTube videos, but on live streams. Ooh, this is nice. Sweet. On live streams. If I want my stream to be action packed and I'm playing PUBG and it, I used to just run around playing one man squads all the time, just trying to kill, you know, 20 plus people and get a win. If every player in the lobby is just camping 
the entire match is me driving around in a car trying to find somebody. I have no control over that. Which is not very sensible when you think about it from like a content strategy perspective, if that makes sense. Whereas I can do speedruns and know we're doing a world record attempt every time. This is new game random sea glitches all bosses. Both hearth and home. We got lucky that another draw he didn't spawn then. Right, we need one more bone, but we're still not found Bone Master's location, unfortunately. Not easy arrested like a chat. Hell yeah, dude. Arrested's usually pointless. And that is something only top runners really know. <laughs> This guy's in a really awkward spot, annoyingly. Whoa! <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe let's just try and go somewhere else for the rest. I would love if in Valheim you can buy boss locations on the trader. That would be really interesting, yeah. Would make for a very interesting playthrough. Looking forward to seeing how strats evolve. Definitely a lot of strats that have evolved. Oops. Stamina, please. All right.
Well, we have the bones. What? Oh, I didn't see him. Sneaky blob. Maybe I'll create farm percent, grow all crops, tame all animals. Yeah, that could be fun to do. Any favorite mods? I haven't really had much chance to play a ton of mods because you have to play vanilla to go for world record. And I've been grinding the speedrun for this game for almost a year now. Um, but I really like the mods that add more bosses. I think that's really cool. Oh my god, that's annoying. I forget what it's called. There's one that basically adds like mini bosses and it also adds like a boss to Mistlands, a boss to Great North. That looks awesome. There's the one that's the raft one that looks awesome. There's an upgrade to fishing that looks awesome. There's a there's a list of mods that like I, every now and then I do look for mods because Sometimes I think like, oh, if I have nothing to grind for for world record and if Miss Lands is going to be get delayed or something like that and it's going to be ages, I can like, um, I would consider doing a modded playthrough. Oh my god, dude, it's so annoying. There's a, there's a, a mod that expands what the trader sells, which looks really cool. So I do keep an eye on mods. I just don't have time to play them because the plot. I've always thought that if Miss Lands gets delayed or something, I will just do a modded playthrough. What's up, man? And thanks for coming by the stream. I hope you're doing good. Thanks, dude. No! I can't believe he didn't die. Fuck. Wasted like a goddamn minute on this blob. What? Yeah, one thing I'll say about the questions about casual playthroughs is if I just feel like it's going to be ages until new content comes to the game that's going to change the speedrun in a major way that I have to figure out a way around, then, you know, it's more likely that I'll end up doing a casual playthrough then. Yes, finally. No, we don't need a mace. We need to find bone mass. Oh, it's kind of far away. Right, we got to hope that we find the other bosses before we get there. That sounds good, Terry. Is that the one that automatically organizes chests? Or is that a different one?
I'm not sure about the exact in-game days conversion, but it'll be something like that. The chance we get followed by some uh, leeches here, so I want to be careful. The ideal scenario is that we just see a giant mountain with modder on it. Here we go. Along the way. And we find your glove on the way. So leeches used to come back and follow if you didn't kill them all the time. I feel like they do it less now. Which is a great change if that is real. Yeah, there is honestly tons of good looking mods for this game. I've just never really had a chance to dive in. 21 minutes is one in game day. Yes, I think that is the one I'm thinking of, Terrier. Looking pretty good so far. Can't really see shit. It's too foggy. just have to pray now that we get all the bosses along this line somewhere if we do we can get a record basically this needs to be kind of somewhere with this let's say within this sort of high this quadrant kind of this area so we don't have to go too far out of the way Bonfire is more damage. Campfire, yep, it does. Made a video all about the bonfire. You can get a link to it by doing exclamation bonfire in the chat. It's called Bonfire Valheim's secret weapon. Welcome.
I'm occasionally looking up, but just not looking at the ocean. Still to avoid serpents, just to see if we can see a mountain or something. But I see nothing, unfortunately. So getting loads of water and not enough land is also kind of a run killer. It's just faster to run on land. Yeah, multiple bonfires do stack damage. There is a limit to the DPS at so a certain point. Forget whether how many fires it is. Maybe four or five or something. But yeah, they do stack. All fire damage stacks. But there's always a limit on what it can stack up to. Then plays the whole time. I think you're running parallels to land. You would think so, right? But pretty far away for that to be the case and it should mean that we can't get serpented but I think it's just Duncan planes now it does stack on the arrow if you keep firing them in fast enough succession you'll see the fire damage goes up Could mean we can't get serpented if it says planes, but yeah, we're literally totally in the middle of nowhere. We lost the wind. Wow, this is not good. Yeah, they changed it. It's all completely changed after Hearth and Home. One of the least talked about things of the game after that big change. The fire was completely changed so that it start it stacks now. It is kind of weird that it says planes and there's no land at all. So weird. Exactly, Roy, yeah. Well, I'm all ocean speed run. Yeah, this is this is so rough that we just got, don't we're literally going against the wind. There's no, like, the only land that we see is dead ahead. No land. For miles around. Worst case scenario. <laughs> no mountains anywhere either, yep. Not looking good, but let's see what we can do. Hopefully the wind changes. Keep our eyes peeled for something useful. Not looking good, but we can't give up yet.
What's the best slash fastest way to find your Gloth? Unfortunately, there's no mega consistent really fast way to find your Gloth. But your best bet is going to be to circle around the outskirts of any plains biomes. Um, either by bow or just by running around. Looking for either the Yag altar itself or any stone henges and if you see a stone henge check it for the yag rune um both of which seem to much more commonly spawn on the edges of plains biomes fastest ways to stumble across him i mean basically yeah unfortunately but i mean if you know what what to look for on a normal playthrough, you can find him in a relatively reasonable amount of time doing that. You're very welcome. Um, I will also say that if you're playing a normal survival playthrough and you're able to take as much time as you want, if you have done that, on, on like a big segment of the map let's say you've done that a ton and with no luck it might be worth just going completely the opposite side of the map because sometimes what can happen is you just get a whole kind of segment of the the map with just no spawns for yag runes but then like they might be common somewhere else so sometimes as with all of the RNG in this game, if the RNG just seems terrible in an area, uh, on a speed run, I'd still stick with it and just keep checking because it's faster if it works out. But like on a casual playthrough, if you're really having no luck on like a whole half of the map, let's say, I just consider going to the opposite side because sometimes the generation just gets kind of stuck. And I would recommend checking the, the planes on foot. And some people do just sail around checking coasts. And that, there's a chance that works. But it will take longer. Speaking of planes. Finally pulling up. God damn it. Wind is all over the place right now. Um. Hello? What? No. Now the wind has picked up. It's screwing us. <laughs> Come on, game. God damn it, dude. I feel like I'm being so trolled with this boat. I keep an eye on them mosquitoes. The fueling right there too. Yeah, this might not be a sensible place to put a bed. Yeah, it's probably not actually worth aggroing him. I want to go this way. When I said aggroing him, I meant dead mosquito. Could have tried to shoot my way through him. But I think this is... Or sensible. I think that feeling won't be able to get up here.
All right, we got it down, right? Yep. Okay. No, what? <laughs> he just randomly turned on me. I looked away. Classic Deskito bullshit. Alright, I see a totem. Two totems. It's gonna be one of those planes, is it? It's where it's quite the adventure. <laughs> it's actually a two star. Oh god. I see how it is. Oh no. Too many spear throwers. Potentially still deal with this. If you run head on at a spear thrower, you're gonna get killed. You need to basically run to his left side. Consistently dodge him. Which is why I didn't want to run head on. So the two spear throwers on the right. Unfortunately, there was two more on the left. What? I didn't click on it. I didn't click on it and I had to turn around to click and that cost me. Ah, I knew it. I knew this plane was going to be a nightmare. Best thing to do is just remain calm and keep trying. What's up, Atrix? Atrix, thanks for talking about the stream. Hope you're doing good. I don't know like what we haven't got there annoyingly. You know what I mean? No way. Did you see what just happened? That's lucky, dude. Like I don't know if we're missing something important. We got two totems anyway. We may be able to get these to aggro on mobs in the swamp to lose them. Well, that'll work. Abomination versus fueling camp. Right, that's a hard spawn over there you see when i'm so yeah something i guess i've never explained before is like when i'm trying to deal with uh, like archers or spear throwers i'm always trying to move to their left side it seems more consistent to me to dodge to go to the left in this game for whatever reason oh that's not a hard spawn actually I've debated so even in that scenario the I might have moved right, but I'm thinking it's to his left. Appreciate that, Zalvazar. So 
how many death heroes in the game these days. Oh, I missed. It's not good. Did he aggro? Well, definitely no you glowed on this planes. Kind of garbage. Um, all the swamps kind of garbage too. Oh my god! The maniac. Uh, dodge rolling doesn't matter on the direction. The dodge, by the way, it's just when you're running. I always tried to go left with the enemy. I'm gonna go on my boat from here, I think. Ah, oh, we need more wood, unfortunately. We're gonna end up aggroing that wraith. See, I wanted to change direction, and that's when you just fucked when you're trying to change direction, trying to dodge, dodge something. Uh, the, the run's going pretty good. Thanks for asking. Found bow mass. We're just trying to find modder and uh, yag now. Now I'm trying to leave this planes. There's deskied those over there. So army of fuelings here apparently. Yeah, Cloudberries are absolutely insane. One of the best food items to pick up on a speed run. What's up, Richard? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're doing good, dude. Yeah, bow mass is far, yeah. Fortunately. This is just... Is our Draugr still going to be there too? Three Loxes, at least one Deskid though. There was a Wraith and a Draugr. Wraith and Drogo have moved. Yeah, it's still there. He's actually attacking my workbench. Here we go, dude. Here we go. Lots is involved. I think we might be better off going into the swamp. Uh, 
Okay, this is random seed. So unknown. Yeah, we've lost quite a lot of wood here, actually. Don't even have the wood to sail away. God damn it. At least we're sort of going in the right general direction. You need more wood. Go away, leech. I see you. All right, now we have just enough. Okay. Yeah, not having enough wood is how we died in the first place, actually, right? Because we placed the thing down, then we needed to get wood. And then there was enemies. All right, I see you again, leeches. Like, we did terrible for arrows on this run, by the way. <laughs> down the wood arrows again. Really random, right? Sometimes on, on runs, we're the stacked with arrows. What is that that was following me there? Blob, maybe? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more arrows for bone mass. Not arrows. Wood. <laughs> That's what I meant. Thanks for the look, Fat Dog. I appreciate that, bud. All right, considering we're sailing now, we're a couple of hours in the stream. I'm going to take this opportunity to remind people of the ways they can support the content financially. Because it is the financial support of our community that allows me to put so much time and effort into all of the videos and live streams for you guys. So if you would like to support the content financially and help keep the dream alive of me being able to continue to do this for you guys, the best way you can do that is on Patreon at patreon.com slash nickrawcliffe. Patreon allows you to do a monthly donation, sort of like a Twitch sub, except you can do it for any amount of money, even as little as $1. And how it works is, for example, if you were to subscribe at the $1 level right now, you would donate $1 to me right now, and then you'll be donating $1 a month on the first of every month from then onwards, until you can see your subscription, and you can cancel it at any time. Anyone that becomes a patron also gets invited to join my private Valheim server that I pay for that runs 24-7. And you get to play on there whenever you want with the rest of the community. And you also get invited to play Valheim with me live on stream. And we do server streams. And the next server stream is a week today, actually, on Saturday, the 24th. Uh, there is a link in the description to the Patreon. Or you can do exclamation Patreon in the chat for the link. The second best way that you can support the content financially is actually by doing donations. 
donations are the best way to do a one-off contribution because your money goes the furthest. There's a link in the description to the donation page or you can do exclamation donate in the chat. And last but not least, you can support the content financially over on YouTube by doing super chats during the live streams, by doing super thanks below any videos, or by clicking the join button below the stream and becoming a YouTube member. And members get access to monthly exclusive behind the scenes videos, um, just like some of the Elden Ring speedrun practice I just posted, for example. Also, don't forget to join the Discord. It's the number one best way to make sure you don't miss any live streams or videos. There's a link in the description to that as well. Or you can do exclamation Discord in the chat. And I do stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. So if you're watching on YouTube and you'd rather be watching on Twitch, there's a link in the description to that. Or you can do exclamation Twitch in the chat. And regardless of what platform you choose to watch on, the number one best way to support the content completely for free is by smashing the like button on the live stream and subscribing to the YouTube channel over on YouTube. So if you're watching on Twitch and you'd like to help out for free, do exclamation YouTube in the chat, smash the like button on the stream, subscribe to the channel. That makes it more likely for new people uh, to see the content in the recommended feed. This is the first time I've worn a hoodie in months with how hot it's been, chat. I actually just saw myself in the camera. Thanks for the look, I appreciate it, so. You don't need to apologize for losing the world record, dude. It's not a big deal. That's the way it goes. If a game's active, the world record is constantly getting beaten until it's optimized. And it's not optimized. So, we're all good, dude. Seventy-five watching now and only 39 of you like it. Click the like if you're watching this under duress and require help. <laughs> Through Jesse. Uh, the run's not validated yet, or at least it wasn't last time I checked. Uh, I haven't I don't have time to validate the run for the next couple of days but if when it comes to like Monday the run's still not validated I, I, I will validate it myself yeah but Archie is also actively um verifying runs so he might get to it before I do but if he's not if it's not done by Monday I'll be verifying it on Monday Yeah, Thread seemed less like a nice guy. But it wouldn't matter if he wasn't. <laughs> Not like that. It don't be like that. Me and Thread get along, okay? And... Yeah, I'm not... I'm not bothered about the time. We had it for weeks, so... Three weeks... Almost four weeks, I think. It's on the screen, meet me. Is it actually verified yet? Someone had been verifying runs in the last 24 hours. That wasn't me. Because I did log on to check before the stream and it wasn't done yet. No. Oh. 
it would probably be better if it was me anyway to verify it. But no reason to think it's not legit. It's literally less than the time save that's left in my PB that I know I've got, so it makes sense. I don't know if he streamed it or not. I, I know he doesn't usually stream. I didn't check if he streamed it. Like I said, I've been busy. Well, Henrik's been a viewer of the stream for quite a long time. No damn like I've not seen it. I never, I never watched it, like him stream or anything. Or I don't know if he does stream or whatever, but I know who it is. I know him by name. Because he watched the stream for ages. He used to come and ask questions all the time. But I mean, Henrik, like... Both Henrik and Thread are people that originally were just used to show up watching the stream or just ask questions in the chat about the run. And both of them started to actually do runs. I appreciate that, Jesse. Yeah, the entire speedrun.com page was created by me pretty much. I, I literally got it on the website. It's the first runner to submit to speedrun.com, so none of it would be there if it wasn't for me. Yeah, lots of people start running the game segmented. the practicing and stuff. We need to get more wood. Oh, I started to get mist lands now. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, anyone that's willing to watch like my streams and go back through all my VODs and all of my successful runs and all of my 
more importantly, I would actually say unsuccessful runs, just all the VODs of the stream. If people just go watch my VODs, anyone could be a top runner that actually just watches it and listens to everything I say. It's not like I keep anything a secret. <laughs> um... So, sure we'll get more competition as time goes on. We're heading towards Bone Mass, whose location we have. We don't have the location of the other two bosses, unfortunately. I say that now, but it is not that easy. It is not that easy. But there'll be a lot of people watching that are perfectly capable of it. Just a matter if they really want to. I believe there's actually a fueling as well as a Death Gito. Hopefully we can just take this opportunity to leave chat. Bye. Enjoy the party guys. <laughs> Let's check this planes. Looks like we've got a totem there at least. We need three more of those. Yeah, the situation definitely is not ideal, but it could still work out. Oh my god. It's actually driving me a little bit nuts that every time we get to a planes right now, the planes is horrible to deal with. Now we've got loxes, so like we can't put a bed down. We can't just like go and chop all this wood that we need. Which means it's not worth checking. And then we've got, it's, that's, it's just loads of shit. Fueling camp, blocks that, yeah, fueling. Tar pit. Structure like it's just like every time it's just ball lake at the minute when we enter a swap uh planes. Trying to at least get a bed up here or something. At least fuelings are super super dumb. The only upside to fuelings. Yeah, 
luckily they can't get on this one. Bro. Is it Lux's? I always presumed Luxon. No, I don't really care. <laughs> I say Lux's. Sounds right to me. Lock side. I think it, I mean, I've had people just tell me that it's Loxon. But you never know how full of shit people are, first of all. Second of all, I don't know, it's, I, I can't say, I, I don't know, it doesn't sound right. I might be dead here. No! Oh my god, why would I, I just look at that berserker just delayed his attack for whatever reason? Yeah, that's the other one that makes sense to me as well, Roy. I could see it being the same either way. Locks. But I do say locks here sometimes. Sometimes I guess I just say locks as well for the plural. You know, certain things that I just feel like borderline pretentious so i'm not really i just don't care sometimes it's like those dolman things or whatever like who really understands what i'm saying when i say dolman like, it's just a like a stone shelter or something in it It's not really controversial. I'm just talking, bro. Don't worry. I, I'm i not being funny. Or I just actually don't care. So I'm just saying, I'm just expressing my opinion on it. I'm not mad at you or anything. sometimes I, I like I know like I know I might not be saying some things the right way but I'm just not bothered about it so all I'm really trying to say is like it's not important to me I'll care more about people understanding what I'm talking about
do 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 this run is kind of weird right loving the world record runs oh thanks dude i appreciate that thanks for stopping by the stream i hope you didn't go bad It is a been a weird map, right? For sure it has. Guess we just go. It's not looking like I'm gonna find other bosses on the way at this point, is it? Unfortunately. Yeah, I know what you're saying, Joe. That are, that is what I remember people saying. Luxon comes from the guess that Lux equals lizard slash ox. Uh, exactly. So this is being based on ox, I guess. So yeah, it's just another one of them ways that like they're all just made up words, right? But people are just I don't know, dude. This is broke. Yeah, there's been no decent looking mountain so far, unfortunately. I may have to get off slightly earlier tonight, by the way, because I'm meeting my dad tomorrow, guys. Ooh, I'm meeting him in the pub. We're going to have some Sunday dinner. Tell him that the internet says hello from us. <laughs> I will. I don't know how much you will understand, but I will. <laughs> I was thinking like Man of War donated. It was like buy the old man a pint or something. I was like, I might buy him a pint and tell him that it's from someone from chat and like see what he says. He'll, like I don't even know how he'll, if he'll get it. <laughs> but. No! What a goddamn run, dude. <laughs> what is this goddamn run about? <laughs> this is such a troll run. Super weird seed. Every plane's has been a nightmare.
fitting end, yeah. I mean, it probably is the end, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Yikes. One aspect of this that seems difficult to replicate is the game sense. Covering this much ground. Fixing the bad RNC, etc. Yeah. I think I know what you're saying. True, it is a serpent run, not a troll run. We can lose this serpent, guys, but... You know, we might lose, like, a good 10 minutes to losing it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's one of the things I love the most about... Randomly generated speedruns, damn, it's super fun. Or like even just more dynamic speedruns. Like I've been practicing Elden Ring again recently off stream. Oh, dude, he's just not going anywhere. I might try and do this a bit further away. And like one of the things, I mean, the thing is with Elden Ring is that if you're doing the run optimally, it is the same every time. But there's something kind of interesting when things go wrong, that there's still different ways to make things work. It would be what stands for world record. Might have lost it. What the hell has happened to our... Guys, what? Our boat has glitched out anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it's a speed run we're doing. Hence the timer. Magic carpet raft. True. Yeah. GG. Let's leave it there. Splish. Yeah, I, I think didn't have super high hopes for this run anyway because that bone mass was so far away. Then we're going to lose a ton of time to losing this serpent anyway. It's possible to lose, but I think it wasn't worth it at that point. Um, sometimes you can... It, it, I mean, you can lose them quickly sometimes. Sometimes you can be sat there for 20 minutes trying to lose it. It's definitely not ideal. Um, but yeah, we had a really, really... We had really good boss fights for Elder and Ekthir in this attempt. Um, I'd love to stream for longer, but unfortunately if I do another attempt, then that is going to make it so that it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I need to get an early night tonight because I'm meeting my dad in the pub tomorrow. I've not seen him in, in months. Uh, so I'm going to have a catch up with my dad tomorrow. So that means there'll be no content tomorrow. I'll probably be back to streaming either Monday or Tuesday. I'm not so sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'll either be back to streaming either Monday or Tuesday. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. Thanks so much for the generosity. Huge shout out to Dana again for the crazy donation. Thank you so much, bud. I really appreciate that. Uh, remember, a week today on the 24th of Saturday, we're going to be doing a Patreon server stream where I'll be doing a build it's going to be a building stream where i build something cool on the server but people that are patrons will be able to join in and come and, and gather mats for me help me 
gather all the materials uh, for the build and we'll do some other group activities as well. Uh, thanks a lot for the follow on Twitch, Red Mazda. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there because it's going to be too late if we do another attempt. Jesse, thanks so much for the $5 super chat, dude. Thanks so much for supporting the content and helping keep the dream alive. I really appreciate that, bud. Thank you. The legend. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, Mark. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, uh, well, I'll be back either Monday or Tuesday again. Like I said, I, I pro maybe Monday, but probably Tuesday. I honestly don't know. It really depends, like, what other, like, you know, family stuff I get up to. Um, there he is. Woot. Thanks so much, Jesse. Thanks for the stream. Thanks, dude. You're very welcome. Thanks for supporting the content. Helping keep the dream alive. Really appreciate that. So thanks so much for your support. Um, thanks so much. Uh, for the donation, thanks for everyone's generosity and and just being friendly and nice and kind in the chat. A lot like for ages now, I've just started thank you guys for being nice and friendly in the chat because chat just has been getting so friendly and so well behaved lately. I feel like it's worth mentioning. <laughs> so I appreciate that, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you either Monday or Tuesday some more Valheim world record attempts but at the very latest tuesday onwards we'll be back grinding for world records so thanks a lot for watching and uh, i'll see you guys soon for some more Valheim speedrun attempts night guys have a good one bye